friends, welcome back to This Homemade Life. If you're new, my name is Courtney, and every week I like to bring you guys my weekly grocery haul for my family of five. This week I have three different grocery stops spread out over the past week. Things have been a little different here at my house. So um, my van has been at the Honda dealership, what started off to be like a 24 hour, um, they were gonna fix some recalls on it, turned into, I dropped it off Thursday afternoon, I got it back Tuesday afternoon, I dropped it back off Thursday, and I still don't have it today, which is Friday. Hopefully I will get it this afternoon. Um, there were like six recalls on my van, so they were fixing them and they didn't have all the parts. So we went to pick it up while we were waiting for one of the parts to come in and they had broken my doors. They won't open, my back doors won't open. So we had to take it back over there and they're fixing the doors now. And they said they got the part for the recall on the backup camera. Fingers crossed that they're fixing that. Everything works and I get my van today. Um, I did have a Sam's Club grocery haul from last week basically and I did not include it in last week's it was a curbside pickup it's just a couple of things because we needed dog food so I'm sticking that in this video then I had a Walmart plus delivery to my house yes I am still loving that service totally not sponsored but it is super cool to have to the groceries delivered right to your door and then because I prefer the produce at HEB we do have a small grocery haul from there I sent my son to go pick up curbside at HEB anyway let's talk meal plants so this past week, we did not do homeschool. We had a bunch of other things going on. We were busy. I did not make all the meals. I think I say that a lot. I try to make all the meals on my meal plan. Sometimes we have more leftovers than I expect that we will, or we get busy and don't end up eating those things. This week was kind of a bit of both of those things. So the um, avocado Alfredo pasta is gonna roll over into this next week's meal plan. I'm super excited about that though, because I love a good Alfredo sauce. I don't know what I'm gonna serve it with. Maybe just broccoli, maybe shrimp, I'm not sure. And then I had talked about a Mexican spaghetti. So basically it was like a poblano cream sauce on pasta, but I'm gonna take that poblano cream sauce and pour it over some pork chops on a bed of rice. So that is on the meal plan for next week. Garlic butter chicken bites, I saw those somewhere and they sounded yummy. So I wanna make those. And then bang bang chicken, I have had that in my Pinterest board for like ever in a day at this point and I've never made it. So we're totally gonna to make that because it sounds yummy. So that's all I have planned for next week. I will be making like breakfast and lunch for my husband and stuff. I am also working on a what's for breakfast video. Um, it's, it's taking me a couple of weeks because we only eat so many breakfasts, you know, or I only make so many breakfasts in a week. So I'm working on getting everything together and putting together a full video so you guys can have a bunch of different breakfast recipes. If that's something you're into, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can see that video when it comes out in a couple of weeks. Anyway, go ahead and smash that like button for me because it really, really helps me out a lot and I totally appreciate it. I think that's all I had to talk about this week. As usual, I'll pop the prices up over here on the screen so you can see what I paid. So let's just jump on in and take a look at the groceries. All right, guys, so here is my Sam's Club order. It is small. It is not big at all. <laughs> it is really small, but I thought I would go ahead and include it. Um, the reason I ordered in the first place was because I needed some more dog food. I got this one. My dogs have really been enjoying this. Of course, I mix it with the uh, wet food that I make for them. But they really like it, as you can see. Kiba figured out it's here, and he would like some. Um, up here, I did get two of the boxes of spaghetti. These were on sale this month, and we actually go through a ton of spaghetti. It's something that I will throw together on the weekends just in a pinch if I'm looking for a quick meal. Plus, Camden really enjoys just plain butter noodles. So we actually go through a lot more spaghetti than I even film for meals just because it's one of those simple things to have on the side. So I just went ahead and got two because we will definitely blow right through that. I got my husband some more of this triple berry nut trail mix. He really enjoyed this last time. So I did go ahead and pick up another bag for him to um, snack on during the week. I got some romaine lettuce. This is actually a, like not even a whole dollar more than one of those three packs at Walmart. But I'm getting six heads of romaine. So that was a really great deal. I'm going to be eating a lot of salad over the next two weeks. And then finally, I got some of this olive oil spray. I'm running low on my nonstick spray. I picked that up because um, getting a two-pack costs the same as one spray bottle at Walmart. So it was a good deal. But all in all, that is it. Really tiny Sam's Club haul. I just happened to stop there or order from there uh, just because we needed the dog food. <laughs> so I threw a couple of things in the basket. All right, guys. Here is Walmart. Um, it's not huge. It's just some stuff. I still have to go pick up HEB tomorrow. Uh, that's mostly going to be like produce. It's mostly what I got there was a lot of produce. I just like the produce at HEB so much better than I do at Walmart. Um, it just always is better quality for me. I don't know if that's true everywhere. 
which is true where I live. So I did order almost all of my produce from there. But let's just go ahead and dive right in. We'll start down here. I did get some cornstarch. I actually ordered the Great Value brand, but they were out, so they subbed me this one for the same price, which is awesome. I got a big pack of chicken thighs. This is probably like two mils worth, so I will split this in half and then freeze them in groups of four. Um, I got two cucumbers. I did get these because my HEB showed that they only had the English cucumbers, so I just went ahead and picked up two regulars from Walmart. I got my husband some hot tamales. If you watch my channel, you know that I get these for him pretty often. These are his favorite candy. I got some deep dish pie crusts. My husband really likes quiche for breakfast, so I picked these up. I haven't made one in a while, and I thought that would be fun. I got some mouthwash because I'm out. I had an overstock for quite a while, and I'm finally out. So I went ahead and ordered this. I got this Yo Crunch yogurt. My oldest son Xander likes this stuff, and I don't get it very often because it is a lot more expensive than just like regular yogurt. But I saw somebody else haul it this week, and it reminded me how much he liked it. So I was like, well, I'll grab him some. I did get a bag of potato chips. I get those every week because Cam loves his potato chips. I got two types of pretzels, pretzel sticks and pretzel twists. Uh, both my younger two absolutely love pretzels, so I made sure I had plenty. I did get two packs of these um, food storage containers. There's five in each one. I send my husband's lunches in containers like this. That way it's not like super expensive containers. If something happens to them, I'm not like all sad if they don't make it home. He is pretty good about bringing them home a lot, but every once in a while something just goes wrong. So I went ahead and got two more of these because I did notice we are starting to run a little short. If I'm going to do breakfast and lunch, that's like 10 containers for a week. And I think I have about seven. So I just went ahead and got two more so I would have plenty. I got two rolls of ground turkey. I've noticed that this has been out of stock a lot lately. Since I saw it in stock, I just went ahead and got two of them just so that I would have plenty. Uh, we're running low on salsa. I, I like the store brand of Pace. Whether I get it from here or from HEB really doesn't matter. I always get the generic, but I do like to have that. I cook with it and do all kinds of stuff with it. So I went ahead and just picked up this jar to have on hand. Um, I got some heavy whipping cream. I like to keep this on hand just in case I'm cooking something. I want to throw a little heavy cream in there or on the weekend we decide we want some Alfredo out of nowhere. That happens. <laughs> um, I also use it if I make like mac and cheese or something. So I just keep it on hand. I did get some taco sauce. We like this with our frozen burritos or chimichangas in this case. These are really, really good. And on the weekends, if we're busy or something and I don't feel like cooking or I've cooked a big meal, but we just want a light snack later because, you know, we ate a big lunch and we're kind of hungry at seven o'clock that night. These are nice. Just grab one, heat it up in the toaster oven so it gets crispy like the fried ones, at, you know, like the gas stations and stuff. And then we put some taco sauce on it. Totally delicious. But here I did get some coffee. We are almost out. So I got this party size of the Cafe Bustello. Um, I tried the little individual instant coffee of the Cafe Bustello, and it was really, really good. So I did decide to go ahead and just get a big canister of it. I did get, if you watched, I I've, have gotten this half and half the last couple of weeks instead of buying coffee creamer. So I got some more this week because my husband uses it too, and we are big coffee drinkers. We drink a lot of coffee. Um, so I went ahead and got another one. Then I got two more flavored syrups. So my husband, I mean, he's a vanilla guy. He likes his vanilla, and we are out of vanilla syrup, so I got one of those. And then I happened to see this butter pecan, and it just sounded so good. So I went ahead and picked this up. Basically, I'm making my own coffee creamer, half and half, with some of the flavored syrup in my coffee. Absolutely delicious. I got these. They're like generic Ritz. My kids have been enjoying snacking on these, and I wanted to make sure that we didn't run out. Back here, I got this big value pack of the strawberries and cream oatmeal. It is my husband's favorite flavor. He's really like the main oatmeal eater in the house, but he likes it a lot. So I went ahead and grabbed another box so he would have some. I got some regular milk because Xander and Jensen both drink regular milk. They're like the only people in the house that use it, but I don't like to run out. They drink milk every day, so I got some more. I got the almond milk because this is what everyone else drinks. I did get some more of this chai latte concentrate. Xander and I have been enjoying the make it home drink that I've been making with them. So I went and got some more so we didn't run out. And then finally, if you watched my haul last week, I got one of these. Um, I got one last week and I'm getting two this week. So that should tell you all you need to know. These are delicious. Uh, my dad came to visit, or my parents came to visit, but my, my dad especially really loved this stuff. I put it out when we had fajitas while they were here. This is so, so good. So that jar between Xander and myself and my husband and my parents, it is almost gone. So I just went ahead and ordered two because I did not want to be without this stuff. 
Um, it is so, so, so delicious. And then finally, we'll just hop down here. Um, I did get, okay, so I was looking at clearance clothing at Walmart and this, it says it's clearance, it shouldn't be. It is a Sonic shirt and it's a hooded shirt. If you can see back there, it's got a hood on it, but it is a Sonic shirt and then it's got just like the mesh athletic shorts. It was $10. My boys absolutely adore Sonic. Um, and I thought, well, I'll get this. Cam can wear it now and Jensen can wear it later when he grows into it. I just couldn't pass it up. It was cute. And then finally, the last thing I got was cat litter because we have cats and they need litter. Anyway, that is my dog barking and that is my water. All right, everyone. Problem. Here is my H-E-B haul. I told you it was mostly produce and it is pretty small. I was actually surprised how expensive it was to not get very much stuff. Um, this little haul here all together cost me about $68. Um, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a whole lot. I will say um, there were two very expensive items, three very expensive items. The dog treats, some chicken and some trash bags. Those were almost half the total. So yeah, things are expensive, but let's just jump in down here. First off, I got some butter. Um, I like salted butter. That's what I always buy. I have been buying my butter at Walmart because I found them to be the cheapest, but they're only cheaper than HEB by like 20 or 30 cents. And this week, if you bought this, you got free biscuits. So I found that just to be a more worthwhile deal for my household. So I went ahead and got the butter to get the free biscuits. I needed some trash bags. Um, these are just regular HEB brand trash bags. Usually they have them on sale this week. They weren't, but it's still, everything's so expensive. Trash bags are so ridiculous. Um, so I just kind of have been buying these smaller ones instead of the Sam's Club packs because those are over $20 now and that just seems so excessive for garbage bags. So anyway, it's just a 45 pack of them. Uh, back here I did get a cantaloupe. It's summer in Texas and cantaloupe is so perfect in the summer so I went ahead and picked one up. I got some tomatoes. Again, they were out of the ones that I normally buy. It's the red and orange combo pack. I don't know why they were out again. It's disappointing because those are my favorites. Uh, but I got these. It's the next best thing. I did get some grapes. These are black seedless grapes. Um, they're just nice because it's so hot outside and they're cool and crisp and refreshing. My kids have been enjoying them. My husband's been enjoying them. I've been enjoying them. So yeah, it's just a perfect treat. I did get some of these, oh, I don't even know how to say it, Kanzi, Kanzi apples. Um, they just popped up on my what you might like area. So I went ahead and tossed them in because I did need some apples. I got some bananas because we have been blowing through the bananas. I got honeydew because honeydews are on sale this week at HEB, so I went ahead and picked one up. These are so delicious. I got some more hand soap for the kitchen. I like the lemon scented hand soap in my kitchen. I got some uh, toothpaste for my kids. Then back here they had shrimp on sale, so I did go ahead and get a pound of shrimp. I think I'm probably going to use this this coming week um, when I make some avocado alfredo, but I'm not positive. But anyway, I picked those up. Uh, this was at the new to H-E-B section. These are jalapeno popper smoked sausages. Let's see. They look super delicious. They're made with fresh jalapenos, uncured bacon, and cheese. How awesome does that sound? We love, love jalapeno poppers. We call them armadillo eggs, but same difference. I'm so excited to try these. I did get a big thing of chicken breast. This is expensive. This was expensive everywhere. Chicken has gotten really, really pricey. But this should be enough to do like two, maybe even three meals, hopefully. We'll see. And then the last thing I got was uh, the bones that my dogs really like. These oinkies, they're just wrapped in chicken. So I picked up another 18 count pack of that because my dogs have really been enjoying them. That's all I got at HEB. It wasn't a whole ton of stuff, just a little bit. All right, y'all, that does it for this week's grocery haul. It was like a lot of stuff and it was random. And this week felt so weird because we weren't doing homeschool. We took a week off. We do homeschool year round. So we take like random breaks throughout the year. Um, we had other things going on. I had no car. So it just has felt very off this whole week. I'm so ready for everything to kind of just like get back on track and get together. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, also, if you guys have some recipes you want me to try, uh, go ahead and tell me down in the comments or my email is always listed in the description box below. That'll do it for this week, guys. I hope you have had or that you are having a fantastic week. And I will see you guys back here over the weekend with my What's for Dinner video. Bye.